Hello and welcome. You're with us here for yet another edition of Cryptonomics brought to you by CoinDCX and Business Today. Joining us on the show, Vivek Gupta, EVP Engineering at CoinDCX. Vivek, great to have you with us. So much that's been going on in the crypto world. Let's pick up uh, you know, blockchain technology and why overall you feel this is gaining prominence. Because if we step away just from uh, the trading uh, news for a moment and we look a little deeper at the technology and its merits for the future, uh, you know, talk to us about why this continues to grow. Sure. Uh, thank you for having me here, uh, Appa. Uh, in most simple words, right, uh, blockchain technology is a distributed, uh, decentralized public ledger that exists across a network. Right? So when you look at this definition, the key tenets that come from it is that it's public, it's accessible to all, it is cryptographically secured, it is immutable. In other words, it cannot be modified once stored and it is totally decentralized, right? So when you look at it, when you think about it, right? Uh, a decentralized shared ledger that cannot be modified and is cryptographically secure, the potential of what you can do, the power that comes from this very simple technology is immense, right? It promises transparency, it promises traceability, and most importantly, it promises decentralization, right? So which shifts the control back into the hands of the participants of the ecosystem. Fundamentally, this creates a more efficient and a more fair way or more varied way of doing things for everyone that's included or involved in the ecosystem. Therefore, this is what I think is driving the innovation, disruption, and as a result, the growing adoption of that entire ecosystem. Okay. Uh, Vivek, talk to us a little bit also about the use cases for Web3. Uh, you know, decode that for us. And any examples uh, or the adoption level that you're seeing in India versus globally? Sure, sure, sure. Good question. Uh, so, see, in um, before we get into Web3 and the use cases of Web3, right? So let's look at what we have today. In today's internet, uh, what is colloquially also called Web 2.0, uh, the internet platforms are built on aggregating user and their user data. Right? So all the platforms, be it Facebook, Google, Netflix, anybody of the world, they basically acquire the users. Then they basically acquire the user's data, which gives them the value from which they get the network effect. And from there, they're able to drive the value for their users. Now, in this business model, uh, it is important to log the users and their data. Right? That is the source of getting your competitive advantage. You know, For example, you could have a lot of behavioral data on your social media platforms that allows these social media platforms to fine tune, micro target, make their uh, advertising algorithms to be better than their competition. Right? So there is a disincentive therefore from any one of these platforms to share the data outside or to allow the user to be tracked outside of their system. So in other words, they lock the system, uh, they lock the users, they lock the data, and therefore they're able to drive the value back for the users. Now, blockchain, crypto, and Web3 present a totally new digital ecosystem. It's a fundamental shift. This fundamental shift is based on creating value that is accessible to all participants of the ecosystem. Right? It's based on the premise that there's an alternative to exploiting users for data to make money. Right? Building an open platform that shares values with the users directly, uh, with more value created for everyone, including the platform itself. Right. In Web3, therefore, uh, platforms have full control, uh, the users have full control over the data, similar to how platforms today have full control of this data. Based on this, uh, we are already seeing uh, rapid attention, right? So basically a lot of growth of blockchain technologies, adoption of blockchain technology, disruption across multiple industries and sectors, including industries like fashion, art, supply chain, pharma, uh, sports, entertainments, uh, besides fintech, fintech is always, you know, whenever there is a technology innovation, it always starts with fintech, be it, you know, for example, adoption of technology or internet in India in 90s, or now the adoption of Web3 and blockchain technologies globally everywhere in the world, fintech has taken the lead. But because of this driving principle that the users have control, because the users have control over that data, uh, it basically creates a more equal uh, value driven ecosystem where all participants have value that they can drive from it. More and more ecosystems are growing up, ecosystems like NFTs, you know, DAOs, social gaming, et cetera, are also gaining a lot of prominence. In fact, as per a report, uh, during 2022, spending on blockchain solutions by businesses is expected to hit $11.7 billion. With over 70 million global wallets, growing blockchain adoption across multiple use cases, it's only reasonable to expect rapid growth and innovation in the space. 
and not only businesses we are also actually seeing a lot of adoption of blockchain in the government to government and government to citizen use cases right in recent years some governments have been experimenting with blockchain technology in a variety of activities including services like you know uh, tax registration healthcare procurement food supply chains identity management um i would say in next 7 to 10 years we can be sure that web3 technology will become the centerpiece of economies across the world transcending across multiple domains Uh, so, what are the different ways of leveraging blockchain technology to expand uh, business product lines? Hmm. So, see, businesses can leverage blockchain in multiple ways. I mean, like I said, fundamentally, the technology is very simple. At its heart, what is it? It's basically a large shared database that is powered by a virtual machine. Now, when you combine these two things, when you say that there is going to be a large database that is publicly accessible, all the participants in the ecosystem have access to it, and then you can add a computing power on top of it. When you combine these two things, the possibilities, the opportunities that it throws up is innumerable. You know, uh, while the use of underlying blockchain technology, like I said, has found most takers in banking and financial sectors, many other industries are starting to leverage the value of blockchain, expanding the use cases for it. For instance. the use of smart contracts right uh, what's the idea of smart contracts smart contract simply says that you can have contracts between two systems right it eliminates the need for human intervention it basically allows logic driven trust to be built between two trustless systems so far what we are saying you know we are saying that for people to be able to build trust they require an intermediary so party a trusts intermediary party b trusts intermediary so because both of them trust intermediary a can trust b what we are now saying is this intermediary can be replaced with a logic let it be computer driven and so therefore because it is a computer driven open auditable smart contract two parties can actually build trust among each other right uh, and there are multiple other such use cases for businesses like increased efficiency and effectiveness of supply chain you know you can have blockchain based bi and analytics uh, you can also influence consumer behavior you know reward for behavior structures um in fact i think uh that is going to be completely disrupted you know the way brands think about advertising and uh, you know attracting customers to their platform bringing in more consumers to their platform is going to be completely changed the reward for behavior structure is going to be completely different mm. um yeah i mean just to name a few right i mean there are there are immense possibilities of what you can do with blockchain as a business absolutely um you know when we're looking at look at india's next phase of growth as well and you sound you know so impassioned in terms of how we can really uh, you know uh, contribute and create through this technology uh, but talk to us about the kind of role uh, that we can really see web3 and blockchain technology playing in empowering india's growth story sure so see india is already witnessing a dramatic rise right now basically if you look at india india is basically growing itself into this global web 3.0 hub you uh, know web 3. O is already drawing significant attention in the uh, Indian startup ecosystem. Uh, we have seen uh, investments, what in in excess of five hundred billion dollars in the past few months. Um, in fact, we at Coin DCX ourselves have very recently launched Coin DCX Ventures. Right, this is basically launched to support the growth and development of budding startup ecosystem, uh, India and globally everywhere. Um, adoption is growing also rapidly in india investments made by indians in cryptos alone is in excess of 10 billion us dollars uh, we are ranked number 2 in worldwide crypto adoption uh, india is also you know touted to become uh, 3 uh, 5 billion dollar economy by 2024 25 and uh, blockchain has the potential to play an integral role towards its growth mm. right it is estimated that government related blockchain projects could add 5.1 billion dollar to india's gdp in 2022 uh even today uh india is like the uh, workforce for global uh, you know tech right and basically be it the twitter of the world be it the facebook of the world basically uh, you, you you will see that there are indians everywhere india plays a key role in uh, driving innovation globally forward um uh, but in when it comes to web 3.0 i think we have an opportunity to uh be the next facebook right so be the next facebook be the next amazon be the next google of the world all of that could actually be coming out from the web 3.0 ecosystem in india yeah. right um, and while this opportunity exists it's not to say that it's without any challenge uh, for one we need to have sustained investment in building and growing our strong 
right? I mean, we already have a thriving ecosystem. Yeah. Uh, we can see many more startups coming out of India. And so we need to continue to grow and build on talent to support this growth in India. Um, we also need to have regulated clarity, right? And basically from the government, uh, that will go a long way in driving forward and exponential growth in blockchain innovation coming out of India, right? So combined, I think in my opinion, combined with India's technology muscle, a very young demographic, I see a huge potential for India to establish itself as a global leader in driving forward Web 3.0 innovation. All right, Vivek, pleasure speaking with you. Thanks so much for joining us on this edition of Cryptomonomics and look forward to seeing how some of this uh, unravels over the next few weeks and months. <laughs> Thank you.